Hey guys and welcome back to MVT Craft. Today I'm going to show you an update to the Infinite Player Selector I made a little while ago, but due to recent changes it is not possible anymore like this and there had to be found a workaround. So if I add a new objective called Test Dummy and or I remove it uh, in case I, I had it in my recent takes, I remove it again and then add it. Um, if I press this button where it tests for a scoreboard value of zero, um, the comparator will not turn on because the default value of a newly created objective is not zero anymore. So, as you can see, yeah, the comparator turns it on. But if I set it manually to zero and I press this button, you will see that now it will turn on. So if I remove it again and add it again, nothing happens. I change this to one and now it's still zero because or not zero because I removed it and added it um, as you can see if if I have the zero in here I press this button nothing happens but if I do the one in here um, also nothing happens but if I add one to it and I press this button now the comparator turns on so somehow it is zero but it is not zero anymore <laughs> and yeah, this was needed for the player selector, um, where you get a specific player ID for a player, so you can do things with the player without knowing the player's name. Um, this is good for map makers, um, like me, <laughs> obviously. And yeah, I had to make some changes to this, and it doesn't matter where you are. So if I press this button here, this uh, resets everything. So um, this removes the the objectives. Also, so down here is removing and up here is um, adding. So I've done the workaround with uh, the stat play one minute uh, objective um, because this increases automatically for a player if they join. Um, also the ID used from a recent video and the play ID from the recent videos. Um, then there's a new uh, objective, another new objective called ID in progress um, dummy value and this is just for I'm showing you guys on the right side, there's the play ID. You don't need to um, set display command. And yeah, if I go over here, and this is my uh, spawn chunk. As I said, it doesn't matter, so if I press this button again, um, it, so it doesn't matter if I press this button, um, I will get teleported to a specific location um, because I've just received my player ID. So this will be my area, uh, the area I want the players to start the game um, I'm going to create or I want the players to, to join the server on. But you have to have a, a spawn chunk because um, if I go over here for example and I'm going for uh, set world spawn um, then if I press F3 you will see that the whole chunk, so 16, uh, 16 by uh, 16 area, um, will be the spawn area. So it's randomly on this 16 by 16 field. And now, uh, after the first paragraph at a third line, you will see um, that the set value is now zero. But if I walk, it's one, uh, it's 15 to zero again. So it's 16 blocks, and also into the other direction. And if I jump, um, it changes the y coordinate to zero. So this can be anywhere, so as you have seen um, I was teleported over there to this location but you need a, a world spawn um, for players to spawn the very first time. Now if I kill myself um, you will see that I will spawn here because uh, the player selector also set the spawn of the player to this location. So now if I am going to um, join with my other account, you will see that um, the player will randomly spawn in this spawn area and will be teleported over there and get its ID of 2. So now if I'm going over here and I'm pressing um, one of these buttons, so um, this one over here checks for a player with a player ID of 2 and teleports it two uh, blocks upwards, you will see that only the other player will get teleported upwards. and this one over here, if I press this button, I will get teleported upwards. So you can do really nice things with this. And the changes I made um, 
was that I have this uh, negation uh, test for uh, where it tests for ID in progress so um, this is the first I set I set uh, to a random player with the play ID of zero which was set so let me show you this uh, whole contraption so you can build it easier um, there's a clock of course at the beginning um, the first thing that happens is that the player with a time online value of maximum 20 will get the player ID of 0. So this is because if a player um, joins um, this automatically increases and this is um, um, the workaround for the problem um, with the player ID of 0 so it, this is automatically set to 0 now um, so I can then test for it if there's a player with ID of 0 like in the previous video. Um, and this right here tests for ID in progress because I noticed some problems. So if there is a if the there is one player where um, the ID is currently set, so the ID is in progress, the ID setting is in progress. Um, there is one player. Um, this will turn off, and this end ledge will not let it pass through. So um, yeah, if then if there is no um, if the the contraption is not currently running. Um, if there's no player with ID in progress and there's a player with ID of zero, which is a player um, that recently joined, then this will give a pause and will have set the ID in progress for a player with the ID of zero. It doesn't matter which player, that's why it's a random selector, um, the ID in progress to one. Uh, after that, um, it will add uh, one to the ID used objective of a global player, of a fake player. This is not a real player, it's a fake player with uh, a hashtag, so you don't see it in the scoreboard, um, on a sidebar. Um, and then after that I'm going to um, do the operation command of the newest snapshots um, where I add this global ID used to the player ID of this player that is currently um, in progress. So um, if the first player joins, um, this will uh, this global ID used will be added one, as you can see, uh, is, as you have seen over there, um, it is still somehow zero. So if I add one to this ID used objective of the global player, it is one after that. And so the next player will get um, the player ID set to one with the operation command. And the next player, there will be added another one, and the, this player will get the two. So this increases the player IDs. And this over here um, will affect the player um, with uh, no fall damage, because a ch this is the jumping effect um, for five seconds with a, uh, a value of 255, because this allows the player to jump, but he will take no fall damage anymore, if you did not notice. Um, and the true after that says that it will show no particle effect. So as I said, anywhere in the world you can make a spawn check in the air without the platform and he will just fall, 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 fall and then teleport over there and take no fall damage at all because you give him the effect. Um, after that um, he will be teleported uh, to this location which I defined over here. The zero and the zero um, gives the angle. So the rotation, if, as you can see, um, he will face this direction after the first paragraph, the fourth line, um, where it says uh, facing um, on the most right side, um, it will uh, give you the rotation of the player, so in the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Um, and then I will set the spawn point of this player, uh, the random player with ID in progress, a minimum value of 1. Um, this could be also at A, but yeah, who cares? And this will set the spawn point to this um, location. And after that, um, the ID in progress um, will be set to zero again for the player who has uh, a value of one. So yeah, then this command can run again. So if I press this button right now, you will see um, the pulses. <laughs> there was a pulse, and now I have my ID, and now. Um, the other account has the ID. So if I move a little bit um, to the right, so you can see the, the teleports um, with this player, um, and I press this button again, and hopefully um, I'm not the first one, oh, I am the first one again, but as you can see, um, the player will get teleported here too, and we both have our player IDs, 
which can be used for the games or teleportation systems where you don't know, uh, where you do not know the player's name, but you need to do um, something with the player. And yeah, a last little look for this. This is just um, for changing the weather because I'm setting the cooldown of this hopper to a longer time, so um, the clock is a lot slower. And also, I'm changing the weather to clear, so it's always sunny in my map. And yeah. Thanks for watching, I will put these commands into the description and have fun copying, have fun playing.